My guest today is Jeff Berwick. Jeff Berwick is an anarcho-capitalist entrepreneur and activist. He's the founder of The Dollar Vigilante and host of Anarchast. Jeff is also the organizer of the annual Anarchapulco Conference, which will be held this year, February 15th through 18th, at the Princess Resort in Acapulco, Mexico. Jeff Berwick, welcome back to the Vin Armani Show. Yeah, I know, I know. It has been a long time. Uh, and 2017 has been a very, very busy year in a lot of ways. I know you've made a lot of wonderful changes. Uh, a lot of very cool things have happened in the world of, of crypto and with you being one of the biggest advocates, I think, in the libertarian scene for the longest period of time, I thought that that would probably be an appropriate thing to talk about. Maybe we can talk about a preview of 2018. What, how, what does that sound like? Yeah, it's definitely a hot topic and, and something I don't mind talking about at all since we've done so well on it this year. So, yeah, absolutely. Me either. Me either. And on that note of doing well, I know that, uh, you know, you in terms of your uh, financial advice to people, and I know that there are a lot of people out there who who are probably every time they see you sort of bow down and thank you for for helping them to build wealth. You've been an advocate of uh, moving your money out of fiat and into crypto as a, as a store of value, certainly. We started to see it move as a, a medium of exchange, and then we've had some weird things happen. We've had people jump in from out of nowhere. How should we as libertarians be thinking in this coming year about crypto now that the space and the people involved in the space is, are so, is so different?
So Roger Veer obviously is uh, someone that you are have been associated with for a long time. He, he sponsors uh, Anarch Polko. He's going to be down there speaking. He was there last year, and I, I remember sitting right behind as a – kind of a uh, unique little blow up happened between uh, him and uh, Tone Vase who was who was up on stage talking about the scaling debate so uh, is are, I know that you have been someone who has very much been interested in uh, helping people to use cryptocurrency as a store of value to increase their wealth uh, someone who has spoken uh, at, at length about what's coming in terms of fiat and that you know as that you believe as many of us do that we there's an impending crash coming and that uh, this this sort of uh, fugazi is going to be broken up and that this will be a good place to be so where do you stand on the the idea that even though we have this fork and we are seeing Bitcoin Bitcoin Cash, which is actually usable as a medium of exchange, increase in value, that we're still seeing this great increase uh, with uh, Bitcoin, the old chain, which is the fees are, are insane at this point, and it's, it seems like that's not going anywhere. Are you still uh, strong and are you still bullish on, on BTC as being a, a means of exchange? Or, I, I mean, I know you're friends with Roger, but have you fully thrown in in that direction?
Yeah, I, I want to I want to dig into this concept because I've I've ran across this myself. This idea that anyone who comes and and speaks about based on what they understand from economic fundamentals, from being in markets, from having success in in financial industry, who makes any prediction that happens to run contrary to. Uh, the BTC narrative, regardless of whether or not it, it comes to be true, and particularly if it comes to be true, gets gets labeled as attacking Bitcoin or attacking cryptocurrency. I, you know, I've said publicly that I think some of this is s sort of paid sock puppet uh, trolling because it feels that way. It feels like the narrative is just too constructed. What are your thoughts on this, of where this is coming from? Because it is so weird for this space. So, 
you know, it, we got slow and expensive on one side. And the reason why, obviously, we don't want slow and expensive is, I think, because when, when those of us who discovered it, like yourself, like myself, when we discovered it early on, I mean, I remember pushing through transactions uh, with zero fee, even before they had, had uh, instituted the, the software limit of one Satoshi per byte. I remember pushing it through with zero fee, and it would take a little while, maybe a couple hours, but it would get confirmed. And the idea was, as you say, peer-to-peer -peer digital cash. So now... We're in 2018. We've seen already uh, BTC, that chain, start to drop off. Uh, you know, BitPay is having problems. Uh, Coinbase on their merchant side. You were one of the first people to ever start talking about Bitcoin ATMs. You've been uh, someone who's been, been pushing also the, uh, the medium of exchange side. So now we've got people such as Dollar Vigilante subscribers who now have a considerable amount of wealth. They may want to spend it. They may want to spend it cryptocurrency-wise. How do you see this shaking out in the new year? Our ability to actually start spending some of this, uh, not just cashing out to fiat and spending it, but to actually spend it as, uh, as cryptocurrency. How, do you see, where, where's the light that you see in this tunnel? How do you see this thing fleshing out?
So I think that's a great segue uh, over to Anarchapulco. I was there last year. That was my first year there. I had an absolutely fantastic time. It was the best, I, the, the best, sorry to all the other conferences I attended over the year, but it was definitely the best conference of the year. Uh, and one of the reasons why was the uh, the cryptocurrency day, the Cryptopulco day, which was, a lot of it was about the scaling debate. A lot of the things that happened during the year were absolutely predicted by the people that, that were there at the conference on that day. It was an incredibly valuable day, and I'm sure that every person that was there benefit, benefited from it. Uh, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how... It, it was so good, but I think we're only in, is this year three now? Year three or four with the... It's going to be our fourth one. So year, this, we're only in year four, so that was year three. So good. Talk to me a little bit about um, why you think this conference is so different. What, what makes it so different? Because it clearly, it clearly is. Uh, so, I mean... Last year, I think it was the, the time that it broke out. I think I said that to you when I was there. I was like, oh, this has got to be a breakout year of this thing, and, and I'm definitely coming this next year. What do you think makes Anarchopoco so, so different from other liberty-minded conferences?
So we've got uh, February 15th through 18th is going to be this year of an Acapulco Princess Resort, uh, which I got a chance to check out the last time I was down there. Really, really cool spot. Um, you know, one of the things that, that struck me being down there, not just the caliber of the, the speakers who were there, but the fact that everybody was very accessible i mean it was it was also the conversations with those same individuals uh in private off during those days everybody very accessible everybody hanging around and as you say this this sort of wide variety of of individuals and and thoughts can you uh, just uh, as a little preview of who's gonna the type of people that people can expect to be down there and then if you want to talk a little bit about what the vibe is like in terms of uh, in terms of just sort of hanging out and getting to know people and having those private conversations too. Oh, wow.
Yeah, that's uh, that's because there are quite a few additional uh, things going on. I know you've you've got a seminar yourself that you're doing. Uh, Larkin Rose is doing some other seminars in addition to some other sort of health and wellness stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. I'd advise everyone to uh, to check that out. Well, Jeff, uh, I think we're we're coming up on time. Uh, was there besides? Uh, you know what we've talked about in terms of Anarchapulco and uh, and with cryptocurrency. Is there anything else going on with uh, with Dollar Vigilante in in particular that people should be aware of? And and if they are not already on board with the newsletter, how can they do that? Fantastic, and I'll have all of these links in the show notes as well. Well, Jeff, it's always great to have you on. We'll have to do this a little more than once a year because I think it's been a total of 12 months, but we'll definitely do it, do it again. Jeff Berwick, thank you so much for being on, and we will see you again. Thank you, Ben. The most important and profitable investment conference in the world is returning in February 2018. In 2016, the TDV Internationalization and Investment Conference, led by world-famous investor and freedom fighter Jeff Berwick, focused on Bitcoin when it was at $400. It also focused on gold mining stocks, featured by Ed Bugos, which ended up gaining hundreds of percent that year. In 2017, the TDV Summit focused heavily on cryptocurrencies. Many speakers pounded the table to buy Bitcoin at $1,000. It has since hit $10,000 and others focused on other cryptos, such as Dash, which was $20 at the time and is currently over $600. If you attended the last two years and took advantage of all the information you learned, you would have become wealthy. And on February 19th, the TDV Internationalization and Investment Conference is back. Speakers include Jeff Berwick, who will give out his next cryptocurrency and ICO picks, as well as laying out how to internationalize your lifestyle to become a prior taxpayer using the Five Flag Lifestyle and cryptocurrencies. TDV's senior analyst, Ed Bugos, will lay out his gold mining stock picks for 2018, as well as what he foresees for the markets as a whole. David Morgan, the most respected silver analyst in the world, will give his insights on where silver is headed in 2018. Vix Ware of RoadToRuta.com will expand on cryptocurrencies and precious metal strategies. Other speakers include G. Edward Griffin, Jeffrey Tucker, Roger Ver, Trace Mayer, and more. The TDV Summit is held on February 19th, and we recommend coming to Anarchapulco from February 15th to 17th and Cryptopulco on February 18th for five straight days of freedom, inspiration, investment ideas, analysis, and recommendations. You can find out more at tdvinvestmentsummit.com.